Bon dia, buenos dias, ohio gozaimas. Welcome everybody. We're here at the Kawasaki Racing Team headquarters. That's it, right in Granola, 20 kilometers away from Barcelona and directly behind the Montmelo Barcelona Catalunya circuit. Let's go inside and check it out. Morning, Noe. I'm gonna take you really behind the scenes here at KRT, so let's go upstairs where the meeting and communications room is and see what we can see there. I can see there's a video call going on, so hopefully we don't disturb them. Morning, guys. Good morning. Let me give you a small introduction here. We're disturbing a, a video conference between Sumino san, the executive officer at Kawasaki Heavy Industries, and Steve Guthridge on the right, racing planning manager of Kawasaki Europe. This room's used a lot for this kind of thing. Also, planning a strategy for the race season. We have game our team manager behind the computer on the right here, BL, marketing manager. On the left, we've got Sylvia Sanchez, our team coordinator, and Albert Cabrestani, the human performance manager. So they'll be in here quite a lot, actually, during the season, but right now, it's fully busy at this time of year. Oh, guys, I hear uh, some action going on in this room, so let's see what we've got in here. So, we have Alvar, the technical manager from the team, and it looks like he's having some video call with my crew chief, Marcel. So, hey guys, how are you? Welcome everyone. So we won't disturb you guys. I know you're the busy talking. We've had the test already last week, so I'm sure there's a lot of lot of debriefs going on about the, the new bike to get ready for the season. So bye Marcel, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Alva. Thank now we're in the marketing and design area of the of the headquarters. This is Ava, she's our communications manager, so she's in charge of the press, the interviews, everything on the race weekend, and along with Chell, Carlos, Mark and all these guys, they're working really hard on design, everything from, from the bikes, the websites, interviews with me, trying to make me look good. So they've got a really, really tough job up here. So luckily there's quite a lot of them. So yeah, as you can see, flat out at work today. Let's head downstairs and do a little bit more exploring. Here at the front reception, we have Noemi. Not only is she the smiley face that you get to see as soon as you come in the building, she's in charge of administration, helping with logistics, and she's also supporting the finance team who are just through here. So guys, in here, we have Paki and Lorena who are in charge of invoicing and all this type of thing. And in this office, we have Jordi, who is the financial manager. His responsibility is the budgets and all the important stuff like this. So let's make sure I catch up for a beer later. So here's some proper nostalgia, the 2009 Kawasaki Super Sport Bike of Joanne Lascours. This is officially where the Provec Racing and Kawasaki story started, but check this machine out. It's Gim, Mr. Rhodes' 1993 Kawasaki 500 flat track bike, and all he does is tell me and Johnny how fast he was on this bike, so we need to see it, don't we? I reckon we'd be faster. Yeah, I do, but I'm not sure he's going to agree, so. So let's go and check out the technical meeting room. So you guys, we're right inside the technical meeting room here. Lots of important things goes down. And today we've got Mattia. Mattia, hello. Mattia is a veteran mechanic of KRT. Behind Mattia, we have Katsu, who's, who's a KHI advisor. And I don't know if you can see this guy over here. He's quite important. Perry Reba, my crew chief. What are you doing now, Perry? I'm just thinking what uh, we can do next next, my friend. So all the... All the ideas go down here. Three people we don't have, very important people we don't have in here, are electronic engineers and telemetry guys, Davide and Danilo, and also Paolo Marchetti, who is the advisor for the Kawasaki support teams. Normally they're in here along with Sylvia, but let's go a bit further to the, to see our technical manager, Alvar. Hi right, Alvar, how's it going? Something super cool in Alvar's office, maybe you haven't seen before, but there's these 3D printing machines, which I guess, did you make this from the printing machine? So an air duct, we can prototype materials here and send them off for manufacture, which really speeds up development. So let's go and I'll show you a little bit more of our workshop. This is some cool stuff here. These are the 
show bikes from my championship winning years brings back so many cool memories. Especially when the team designed this like one-off bodywork. Hey mate. Right. Yeah, good. Here we have the first World Championship winning bike from 2013, KRT's first World Superbike Championship with Tom Sykes. Who we, where, who we got around here? Oh, here's Tambu and Chema. These guys are driving the trucks. Tambu is also my tyre mechanic on the race weekends. I have to keep him out of trouble, that one. And inside we've got Raul, who's responsible for engine hardware on the ZX10, making sure all the engines are running smoothly on the race weekends. I think he's doing a little bit of work on a clutch, it looks like, but let's, uh, let's head back out. Now we're gonna head into the workshop where all the magic happens. The guys are working on, on our babies, getting ready for the test next week. Here we have Mauro, who is the mechanic for JR, but the tyre technician as well on the race weekends. Arturo, one of JR's mechanics. Here we have Pau and Aaron, who are preparing one of my bikes for the next test, so working with me. And Yuri is the other mechanic for JR, so he's just doing some fine details, getting the bike ready. All okay, mate? All okay, mate, you? Very good, thank you. So guys, now we're going to meet Ruben. He's the, the parts manager for the team. So he's coordinating with Katsu, with Alvar, managing spare parts and making sure we, we've got enough stock of everything. Hey, mate. Hi, Alex. But also, he's the sticker man. And as you can see, with all the fairings from over the years, He's uh, in charge of the sticking machine, making sure the pit board in, the bikes, and everything has all the correct logos on. So, he's a very busy man. Now that we've seen inside the technical parts of the workshop, I want to take you to another area, the hospitality and maintenance side, which is also very, very important. Here's a chill out area. Mechanics, staff, everyone can eat their lunch here. And right here, to my right is manual lane. This is the maintenance area because there's always something that needs repaired or fixed. Manual lane, the king. Now we've seen the maintenance part of the team, I want to take you and show you somewhere really cool, the hospitality side. And in this warehouse here, we keep our kitchen truck. For me, hospitality is one of the most important parts of the weekend. Not only is hospitality important for rider nutrition and performance in the weekend, it's also so important for the mechanics. Let's not forget these guys are on their feet from like 7 o'clock in the morning. So inside this truck they prepare all our meals and we all come together inside our KRT hospitality and sit down and we can really debrief the day. So we can get a sneaky peek right in here. In fact, Mickey and Rafa are in here. Mickey, Rafa, how's it going guys? They're preparing all the ingredients, all the stuff we're gonna need for our next test. I can't wait to get there to see what the menu is. So that's done with the hospitality kitchen. Let's go inside and check out the hospitality suite. The place where our sponsors come to relax, we eat as a team, it really is our home from home. Mate. Right, buddy, should have known you being here. Obviously, just having a quick coffee, watching a bit of telly. Nice. Taking it all in. So guys, this is our hospitality suite. One of the coolest places to be in the race weekend because we get fed and watered here, so it truly is a happy place. And it's all down to these amazing guys. Tony's our truck driver. Hi, Tony. Chabby. Chabby, what these two don't know about hospitality is not worth knowing. And Chabby, let me tell you, makes a mean paella. It all happens with Carla. Carla is our hospitality manager. She makes all the cogs tick in a line. Everyone gets fed and watered, smile on their face. And hopefully we get the job done on the track, eh? Yeah, exactly. But we have somewhere to be, I think, don't we? Yeah, I think we're late. Let's do it. Let's do it. Six years in a row as world champion for Jonathan Ray and indeed Set Manufacturers Champions for Kawasaki.
Development is always at the front of Kawasaki's mind, pushing the boundaries and staying in front. We have achieved by Kawasaki to do that, as you can see there, six years in a row. And, uh, development never stands still. Aerodynamically, we've made a huge step, and I think with this, we can utilize the full potential of our bike. The wait is over, and I can't wait to get started.